All right, hey, what's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster back here on this uh, Saturday. Pretty busy day for earthquake activity. Uh, got a 5.3 earthquake coming into the south, I guess this would be southwestern Australia over here, or western Australia. It depends on how uh, you look at it. A 5.3 coming in just a few minutes ago, 10 kilometers deep. Uh, I am not, I don't have any stations over there that monitor seismic data. I'm not seeing it show up here across this New Zealand area, but then again, uh, that would show up a few minutes later, considering the distance here. Uh, USGS not picking up on it yet. Let's see what we got for data here. If anybody's in the Australia area uh, and you felt this earthquake, uh, ver verify it, please. That way we know if this is a legit earthquake or not. A lot of times the... Uh, EMSC models have been uh, a little on the uh, crazy side in terms of putting out large earthquakes when they actually didn't happen, but uh, not saying this one didn't happen. That's kind of why I'm looking at it to see. Uh, right now, there we go. Right now, that's still up on the EMSC model map as a 5.3, 10 kilometers deep. The source parameters have not yet been reviewed by a seismologist here. Uh, testimonies, see if we got, it doesn't look like we have anything. Oh, actually, take that back. It looks like we do have some reports coming in. Uh, of course, nighttime over there, right? Uh, witness locations here. A few folks reported 30 seconds of vibration. Woke us up. Uh, somebody was feeding their tropical fish and felt the quake under my feet and saw the water ripple in the tank. A lot of reports coming in here. Someone laying in bed, bed shook, then window, window rattle. Uh, this person here. 315 kilometers northwest from the epicenter, very light shaking. So of course, the closer you are to the epicenter, the stronger that earthquake uh, will obviously be felt. Historical seismicity out here. In this area of Australia is very slim pickings. I don't recall the last time we've seen a 5.3 out here in Australia. Uh, again, 5.5 looks like they just upgraded this to a 5.5 there on the earthquake 3d globe i do want to pull up here real quick uh historical data uh, from the usgs with regards to earthquake activity out there in australia it's a little rare we did see some earthquake activity in china this morning uh fairly devastating earthquake very shallow in a highly populated region so we're getting a lot of unusual earthquake activity uh, striking out here today. So we're just going to check out this region of Australia uh, for 4.5 and above. I just want to do a quick search and see what we have. Uh, today's earthquake, well, it hasn't shown up yet on the USGS map, so we'll, we'll get to it probably uh, here soon. It looks like the last earthquake of somewhat decent size was a 4.7 earlier this year. They did have a 5.2 uh, further to the west here, northwest of Albany, there's a little bit larger quake, 6.5 uh, North Northam, Australia, back in 1968. Uh, now this earthquake here, definitely a good size one, uh, 15 kilometers deep. This earthquake looks like it struck just to the east here of this um, this previous one back in uh, 1968, the larger one. So it looks as though. Australia does get some large earthquakes out there. Uh, it's not all that often. Um, I mean, I cover a lot of the earthquake activity every day, every night. And, um, well, you know, it's, we get a two or three here and there, but nothing big like this. That's, it's been a little while. Again, USGS, uh, let's see if they've picked up on it yet. Doesn't look like they have. Um, eventually, I'm sure they will. There we go. They, <laughs> as soon as I said that, they pop up an earthquake. 5.4. So, that's definitely a legit earthquake. That means that uh, a geologist, seismologist, has reviewed it. And that is uh, currently a legit earthquake here. Uh, obviously, folks reported feeling it. Goodness, if you felt this earthquake, folks, let us know here on the channel in the comments below. Uh, kind of curious to see what kind of uh, shaking you felt. A couple reports in there from the EMSC data reported some vibration. You know, like a vibration type earthquake. That's a... I would probably consider that a rumble, so to speak, in that in terms of that type of vibration. But let me let me know what you felt if you're out here within this region. Not 100% certain with population um, density out here. It's well north of Albany. Not for sure what's out here. Um, a lot of different little communities and villages, towns, it looks like. But uh, yeah, let us know. 
and uh, that earthquake S wave looks like it's showing up there on Indonesia station just barely a little ripple um, and again this comes after some activity there in China some moderate to large movement out there earlier the pager system was way up in the red uh, including some damage to their uh, infrastructure which is a little bit different than for example the states or Australia uh, in terms of you know how they build their buildings and houses so that's why the damage is more considerable uh, from this moderate 5.4 earthquake all right folks we're gonna jump off here um, let us know let us know if you felt uh if you felt that earthquake we'll catch you guys a little bit later